A former girlfriend accused him of carving an X into her chest with a box cutter, but now she's the one facing jail time. The arrest of a 19-year-old woman today comes after we first shared the story of Christopher Procopia and how a selfie saved him from possibly going to prison. Tony Plahetsky has an update on how police have now charged her with lying about the whole thing. Christopher Precopia knows what it's like to be accused of a crime he didn't commit. It was terrible. It was heartbreaking. It felt like nobody could believe me. Nobody wanted to believe me. He also knows the feeling of vindication. It's such a gratifying feeling. Now he's pursuing justice. I want her to realize the pain she has caused me. We first told you Christopher's story last month. It was soon shared around the world. A story of how he felt guilty until proven innocent and how a selfie saved him from prison. Last year, a woman he dated four years ago in high school called Temple Police and told them Christopher had just broken into her home and sliced her with a box cutter. Detectives took these pictures of her injuries, but now police agree it never happened. On the night 19-year-old Faith Cox claimed Christopher assaulted her, he was at an event in Austin more than 60 miles away. He posed in a photo that helped convince prosecutors of his innocence and to drop the charges. On Tuesday, authorities charged Cox with making a false report to police. She faces up to 180 days in jail if convicted. Christopher spent 10 months working to get his case thrown out, all the while facing the possibility of 99 years in prison if he didn't. She is not a person in my life anymore. I'm finally done with her and I can move on with my life and feel great about it. With his name now cleared, Christopher says he plans to join the Navy. He also wants to possibly start a nonprofit, called What About Me, to help people just like him, accused of a crime they didn't do. He also wants to focus on healing the emotional scars of an ordeal that never should have happened. It's gonna be a, a long journey, but I hope to get to a good end point. Christopher says he still has no idea why Cox made the report to police in the first place. Her attorney said today that he would not comment on that aspect of the case. Tony Plahetsky, KVU News.